Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. This episode's gonna be our only episode where we play kind of like a tune-up game as we're playing Southern Mist. And we're actually playing in Fairburn for this one. So you're telling me, Army is number eight, Navy is number five. Where the heck is Air Force? We gotta complete the trio. This Tulsa running back is so freaking good. He's averaging 240 rushing yards a game, and he's got 10 touchdowns, 1,200 yards, and we're at the halfway point of the season. His longest rush is 80 yards, 22 broken tackles. Oh, it all makes sense. He's got the Rayshon Tanner player model. We've dropped out of the top 10 for toughest places to play simply because we haven't been playing home games this season. But this week is one of our two only home games all season. So this is our chance to try and boost back into the top 10 and reclaim that A plus grade. Tell me how Florida is in the top 10 when they lost last week. Last episode was also the episode that Andre Avery declared that he was going to transfer away from UGF. So he's ineligible for the rest of the season. Our emergency quarterback is actually the receiver, Daniel Sanders. 64 overall, 88 speed, 97 acceleration. So he is quick, but he's got 19 awareness at the quarterback position. 84 throw power, 81 accuracy. So actually a pretty decent arm for a receiver. Only problem is his receiving stats would take a hit. But like we said, it only happens in emergency situations. Number one on Ryan Ward's board, the number one receiver in the nation. Definitely looks like some NFL talent. Fantastic route runner, great hands, pretty tall at 6'3", something we don't usually get in our receivers here at UGF. We have some pretty high caliber prospects visiting this week. Ryan Gilliam, Jeff Oliver, and Brett Irvin. Gonna do the best I can to complete all of these goals. Might be a little challenging though. There's a lot of different goals that we have to accomplish. Two of their best three players are running backs. Looks like we're gonna be doing a lot of blitzing today. Finally, a game at the Adama Dome. You know, those are actually some solid uniforms for Southern Miss. I like it. A little bright on the yellow, but still looks nice. Run up the middle, stiff arms my corner. Defensive tackle ought to get him. Let's go, Connor Hoffman. Saves the first down and the crowd's fired up. Nobody's open. He tosses this one out of bounds. Now the offense is on the field. We need a big play. Ah, oh, we need a better cut than this. There we go. We got a blocker downfield, but Ken Burks once again cannot break off the tackle. Go Ken Burks. That's a first down. Oh, we got the tight end. Offense has been running pretty smoothly to start out the game. Ah, oh, crap, I took too long, and I'm gonna get sacked way back there. Gotta stop looking down one receiver. Bo Henderson, oh, he got sacked again. That's a disaster. Well, this isn't good, so now we're gonna have to just basically throw our four verticals and hope we get the first down. Just launch that beast. 1v2, no one's gonna get that. Oh, it's a screen pass. We had so many guys like right on top of him, but it took us forever to tackle. Option play, and we got him. Cross the middle. We always fall apart on third down, it seems like. Oh, we got him. Sacked him seven yards back, all the way to the UGF logo. That's gonna go in Reggie Manning's highlight reel. Oh, it's a screen pass. We got guys out there. Good tackle by the corner. Not gonna get the first down, we're there for it. Why is Ken Burks out there on defense? Field goal is up. And he does not have enough leg to make it. So close. Yeah, we won six, crowd. I agree with you. Oh, Daniel Sanders getting flipped. Now it's a pitch to the running back. Oh, fighting for the first down. I like the effort. And that's going to end the first quarter. And we're still deadlocked at zero. Been kind of a rough start for the Pandas. Third and inches. We're going to keep this with the quarterback. And nobody blocked him. Brandon Nichols literally staring at him. Watching the quarterback get tackled. 56 yard field goal with five mile per hour wins against us. But he gets the full power on it. And he got it. That's got to be the very edge of his field goal range, at least with that wind against him. 
Oh, he didn't even get that pass off. We hit him so fast. And off up the middle. And we stopped him inches short of the first. Got Daniel Sanders streaking. Look at that arm strength. Daniel Sanders is gone. Read the cover two. The safety had to pick one, leaving Daniel Sanders wide open. And Ken Burks made a beautiful throw. Get there, guys. Yes. Will Smith violently hitting him in the backfield for a two-yard loss. Oh, third down again. Slints are so difficult to stop in this game, at least for me. That one's not even close to anybody. I don't know if he was throwing that out of bounds on purpose or he just is inaccurate. Going over to the corner, Connor Hoffman. Great wrap up. Last moment cut. Oh, look at this space. This is going to be returned. Are you kidding me? Justin Thomas. First punt return of his young career. 87 yards. No, oh, I didn't cover the outside, but he dropped it. Yikes, mate. Trying to do the delayed handoff. They forgot Rory Austin is freaking huge. Oh, double teaming them. They still have no points on the board. We're pitching a shutout. Again, Daniel Sanders is open again and he overthrew him. Come on, bro. That could have been another touchdown. Barely got that off. Oh, there we go, Daniel Sanders. And we get the face mask. That'll move the chains. I'm just sprinting with Ken Burks. Mm. Try to cut around and that did not work. All right, Ken Burke, second time around. Just use your freaking speed, man. That's how you do it. Oh, look at this hole. So much room for Marcus Holly. Oh, got a little cheeky with that. Thought we had Bo Henderson over there in the corner. Oh, no one covered the tight end. Touchdown, Kenny Doherty. Let's go. Love to get this kid involved. Let's go. Reggie Manning stripped it out at the last moment. I'll oh, get that out of here. I was about to say, can't lob that up in this kind of range. Connor Hoffman in range. He's the most for sure tackler we got out there. Launch that in there. Let's go, Daniel Sanders. We might get an extra three points here. Not full power here, but it's enough, and it's straight down the middle. Excellent kick at the half. We're up 27-0, putting a beat down on Southern Miss, doing exactly what our fans expected us to do in this game. I think they tried to blitz us, but it didn't work. Marcus Holly just chugging along. They just can't stop the dives. They're not covering the middle. There's Bo Henderson. Oh, dragging the toes. You'll love to see it. There goes Damon Harris with the slant route. Makes a great catch in traffic. Ooh, that was a waste of a play. Well, this close to the end zone, I guess there's really no sense to kick a field goal, especially when we're already up 27 to zero. Well, let's go for it. <laughs> and it's an easy touchdown for Marcus Holly. What I will do is go for two to make it 35 points. Let me just run this in. Ken Burks, so quick. There's the late hit, ref. Where's the flag? Oh, come on, Taylor Smart. You dropped it. That could have been a pick six. Easy. Oh, what a hit from the freshman, Willie Green. Brings up once again a fourth down. What a cannon. Holy crap. Look at him go. 57 yards. Ken Burks had to chuck that thing, what, like 40, 50, maybe even 60 yards downfield. 
absurd arm strength. Probably the strongest arm we've ever seen here at UGF. That's a solid run. Now we got Sanders. Touchdown. Waited for him to cut, and he was open. Great throw on the run from Ken Burks, too, to find the open man. Ooh, Ole Miss upsets Auburn. So they're probably going to drop out of the top 10, finally. Oh, another one of my freshmen who can't catch. This is a screen pass. Oh, I got blocked. Awesome tackle, Eddie Foster. There was nobody there to help you. On this one, there's nobody open either. You know what is still alive. Go, Justin Thomas. Cuts back again. Can he make these other guys miss? Just the punter to beat. And got tangled up on his blockers. That could have been his second punt return of the game. Finding the tight end. Oh, he's in the end zone. Second touchdown reception for him today. Ken Burks has four touchdown tosses this game. Only a one play drive thanks to Justin Thomas's beautiful punt return. Let's go Ryan Covington. If you can't catch, just swat it down. Read this screen pass and he was too scared to throw it. And that will be another three and out for Southern Miss. Here we go Damon Harris. He tried to blitz me, didn't help him. We got the tight end, but it's not going to be a first down. Probably good for Southern Miss, though, because we've been whipping them all day. He made one from 56 and 50 earlier. Oh, this one does not have the power, but he still makes it. Jeez, man, that is insane. J.P. Stevenson is, I was going to say the GOAT, but that's Andy Francis, but he is right up there. Georgia mounting a comeback against Mississippi State. Wish I could watch that game live. Again, Taylor Smart can't catch the interception. Dang it, man. Screen pass to that side. What are they thinking, man? They've run so many screens this game, and none of them have worked. Now that we're up 52 to 0, I think Ken Burks has had a solid day, so his day is done. I'm just going to run out this clock, or maybe just pad the stats, really. Oh, crap. They sent a blitz. Go, Paul. Go, Paul. He fumbled it. That'll bring up fourth and ten. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, it's so close. I thought he was going to take that for a touchdown. It would have ended the shutouts. Oh, he's still going. Justin Thomas. Cuts it back around. Oh, he just had one guy to beat. He was about to get another punt return. This guy is insane. Hit that tight end. Get him some more yards. Slow motion spin move. We got that tight end. Leaping catch. And that's enough to make it a first and goal. Over there in the corner, Kenny Doherty. Third touchdown reception of the game. Oregon beating Stanford in a close one. We see them later on in the season. Oh, again, Ryvan Covington. He's got three deflections on the game. Two of them are just dropped picks. Whoa. What the? How the hell did he Houdini that pass over to him? Oh, no. Oh, no. They're in field goal range now. That's devastating. Screen pass. No, come on, Taylor Smart. Oh, no touchdown here. Still trying to pitch a shutout. Get out there. He fumbled it. Oh, and they get it back. I thought that was going to be our chance to end it. Third and goal. We need a turnover. Across the middle, and they score. Crap. We came this far. There's 30 seconds left in the game. No shutout. Heaving it. Kenny Doherty. We're going to call a timeout. 
Because he's getting close to 100 receiving yards, and that'll meet one of our goals. Daniel Sanders, just get out of bounds. He's safe here. We're trying to run up the score because they, they went and scored seven points on us. Because I'm a terrible human being. I'm going for it here on fourth and goal with four seconds left, even though we're up by, what, 52 points? And I'm gonna get sacked. Serves me right. Well, we came all that way trying to get a shutout, and then we blew it. But a solid game from a lot of people, including Ken Burks, who had four touchdown passes, a career high for him. Stats on the game. Ken Burks, 16 of 22, 265 passing yards and four TDs. Palmer Quad came in in the fourth quarter, 7 of 10, 65 yards and one touchdown. On the rushing end of things, Marcus Hawley, 13 attempts, 80 yards for one touchdown. Ken Burks had 11 carries for 35 yards. Mainly three guys got involved in receiving today. Daniel Sanders, nine catches, 153 yards and two touchdowns. Damon Harris, three catches, 78 yards. And Kenny Doherty, the tight end, nine catches, 77 yards, and a career high, three touchdowns. Connor Hoffman led the team in tackles like he usually has been doing. He had nine. We had one sack in the game, and it was Reggie Manning. We had a lot of opportunities at interceptions, but Ryan Covington and Taylor Smart can't seem to catch the ball. J.P. Stevenson hit three 50-plus yard field goals. Justin Thomas had 252 punt return yards in this game, including one all the way for a touchdown. Oh, we actually dropped down in rushing yards because we got sacked there at the end of the game. That's embarrassing. We failed one of the challenges. That's gonna hurt us in recruiting. Humiliation. Pandas take Southern Miss to school, 59 to seven. We're now five and one, thanks to the last win over Southern Miss. Glad you can count there, AD. Hey, we gotta commit. 74 overall free safety Richard Brown. Go over and look at his skills. 88 speed, 91 acceleration, 88 throw accuracy and 84 throw power. He's also got 75 break tackles, 78 trucking and 86 elusiveness. He absolutely has a weaker arm than Ken Burks, but if he's more elusive and can shed tackles, we might want to look to move him in as like an option quarterback or something. Oregon's quarterback jumps up to number one in the Heisman race. And after that win, we hopped back up to number seven in the toughest places to play, increasing our win streak up to 21, which is the best win streak in the country by nine wins. 25 and four all time at home. That's what I'm talking about. In next episode, we will be traveling to the swamp to play the Florida Gators. They were in the top 25 last week, but they just dropped out after losing to Vanderbilt. And it doesn't get any easier for them. Regardless of their four losses, they still have a very good team, so it should be a good game. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends of my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. And if you've kept an eye on UGM this year, you know that when given an opportunity, he's played pretty well. But those opportunities are just way too many.